Please welcome our final student speaker, valedictorian Alexander Tao, as he presents Never Stop Trying and Learning. Good morning, students, parents, teachers, and administration. It's an honor to speak to the class of 2021 after such a crazy year. A month ago, I didn't even think I'd be speaking today. As I found out, I have an AP exam this afternoon. That's pretty fun, right? But it's OK. We're here. We made it. Let's give it up for the class of 2021. Before I start, I have to say thank you to a couple of people that made this possible. To my parents. Thank you for be always being patient. I know that couldn't have been easy. Thank you for understanding my frustrations and sharing in my joys. Thank you for always checking up on me. You've shown me what it is to be completely selfless, and I'm eternally grateful for that. The work ethic you've instilled in me will last far beyond high school. To Ben and Connor, thank you for being the best brothers one can ask for. I love the two of you very much. To my teachers, Ms. Guzman, Mr. Connie Bear, Ms. C, Ms. Styers, Dr. Janati, and many others. Thank you for tolerating me and infusing the class of 2021 with knowledge. I continue to be excited to learn because of your instruction and guidance. To Nicholas Kai, Alex Ong, Maggie Taylor, Shrika Kondikar, Roshna Sherigal, Alex Valentin, Taylor Gilman, Jenna Davis, and the rest of my beloved friends. Thank you for your support and the fun times that we've had. It's meant the world to me, and I'll never forget it. And finally, members of administration, thank you for making this event possible. Amidst the uncertainty, you were able to create some semblance of a normal senior year for our class. Although we didn't get an actual prom, I think watching Mr. Frasca grind it, grind it out at the, at the Sammies was ample compensation. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of these speeches. They're usually some cliche, generic, motivational speech from some, per, from some kid most people hardly know. You're likely impatiently waiting in your seats eager for your name to be, to be called, so you can walk across the stage, pick up your diploma, turn your tassel, and never have to think about Paul J. Haggerty School ever again. Oh, that wasn't something to be cheery at. You never have to wake up at 6 a.m. to catch the bus again. You never have to hear Mr. DaCosta yelling at you to get to class. You never have to roll your eyes at those blasted hero passes. And it's true, it's true. You, won't. you won't. But from time to time, it would be nice to recall the after school rush to Starbucks, the small talk on the way to the parking lot with friends, and maybe even Mrs. Mrs. Monteclavo's famous, you must exit the campus or be under the supervision of a teacher or a coach. I know for a fact that when I hear, as always, in any context in the next few years, that in our heads, we are all going to think. All right, I didn't know you guys were going to say that. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Well, I'm sure there are some of you who have had just the best high school experience. I know many of us haven't. The last year and a half has been tough on everyone. There's no denying that. I sincerely hope that no other class has to experience the senior year that we've had. That's all I'm going to say on this. I think we're all sick of hearing about the pandemic. On a brighter note, today is a day of responsibility. We become in charge of our own schedule, our own time, our own habits, everything. So even if high school wasn't the best time for you, even if you didn't get to experience the triumphs and the defeats, the epic highs and lows of high school football, that's OK. Okay, I thought some of you got that reference. <laughs> College is a reset button. 
You don't need an IQ of 180. You don't need to start three nonprofits or intern at the Capitol at the weekends. You just need to try. And don't get me wrong, you will fail sometimes. Everyone does. But don't ever let those failures overshadow and overwhelm the many accomplishments I'm positive you all will have and have, sorry, that y'all will, that y'all have and will have achieved in the next few years. Wait, you don't want to put yourself through lifelong debt for a piece of paper with your name on it? You don't want to endure hundreds of more hours of lectures and exams for a degree that's worth less and less nowadays? I completely understand. You don't need to go to college to succeed. No, I'm just kidding. We all know Bernie Sanders is going to take care of our student debt for us. We have his word. We can trust politicians when it comes to student life. There are so many equally respectable ventures in this country, to, great country to follow. Join the military. Go to trade school. Be a Fortnite streamer. Dance on TikTok. Do what works for you and don't look back. So if you're gonna take away anything from what I've said today, let it be this. Participate in your own life. Laziness is easy. Napping your life away, partying every weekend, procrastinating every single assignment, none of that lasts. If you don't care about organic chemistry, that's fine. But care about something. Learn something. Be curious. Be passionate. Never stop trying to do better. We each have an unlimited potential that is only confined by our expectations of ourselves. So let's have high expectations every single day and let's meet those expectations because we are the class of 2021 and we're graduating today. Thank you for your time. To the moon!